Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have a finished, a completed diamond painting to share with you all. And I'm really, really excited to share this with you because it's of my own artwork. <laughs> so today I am sharing with you my finish of Enablers Outpost Dream World Fantasy artwork by me. And here it is. Is. I'm gonna have to show you a little bit at a time but this is it so the story behind this artwork is that I received a box from Upcrate with some watercolors that were really fun to use it was like a watercolor paper and I'll make sure that I link that video somewhere so that you can see uh, the opening of the box but essentially, uh, I, I did this on stream over on Twitch and made the original artwork, which you can see right here, and it was super fun to do. Um, I was just playing around, messing around, and I didn't really think too much about what I was making, just that I was playing with colors and playing with the idea of watercolors. So here's a bit of a close-up. I think it's super cute. Down here we've got metallic, it's like a, a metallic type of watercolor paint, which I think is really super cool. And uh, in the diamond painting, that is represented by AB diamonds, which are so beautiful. So it's really, it was really exciting to see my artwork become a diamond painting. And I hope that this can show you uh, basically the, the choices of the the colors and where they are on the diamond painting compared to the original. Because I feel like if you just saw this on the website, you may not choose it uh, just because, you know, maybe you're like, well, what's going on? Where's their cat and a toadstool? Well, you know, it started out as a strawberry and then I made it into <laughs> into a mushroom. And then I was like, oh, getting carried away with colors. And I was like, of course I want to paint a cat. Why not? And we ended up calling him Cheddar. And it was just, it was a really fun experience. So then Elizabeth from Enablers Outpost contacted me and said, why don't we make that a diamond painting? And I said, no, <laughs> at first, uh, I thought that it was just, you know, cause I don't consider myself an artist, but she did convince me. I did need a little convincing, um, but in the end, it's just, it's really beautiful. So there are 48 colors here and there are a lot of ABs. I think there's five ABs. I'll have to pull back the side here so that I can actually see. One, two, three, four, five, six ABs in this kit, which is amazing. And they are really fun to do really really exciting to work with I love ABs um, so just to give you an idea over here inside of the mushroom and along the edge and in the middle here is all pink and red AB and then the rest of the AB we've got some beside the cat over here and then the majority of the blue is just right there in the bottom corner so overall, I think that this took, if I had to quantify it, which I don't, I'm sorry, I'm not one of those people who keeps a journal anymore. I don't log how many hours I work on a project. I always forget. So I just, I stopped doing it because it's against my nature. But I started working on this last year before I uh, needed to start moving. And then I picked it up again just recently and I finished the bottom. So in all, I don't think it actually took too long. I would say that a faster, more dedicated diamond painter would get this done in less than three weeks, especially because there are areas of color blocking, like for example, the mushroom right here is all white. Uh, and then the body of the cat is mostly yellow. <laughs> so there is some confetti in this painting, but not not a, too much, not too much. It's not overwhelming. Um, 
I actually really enjoyed the color changes, especially in the blues. I really enjoyed doing this section. Maybe it was because there was so little blue in the overall painting, but it was really, really fun. Every part of this was fun for me. It was very surreal. Uh, and yeah, uh, so let's talk about the kit itself. So this is a round drill diamond painting, as you can tell. And because this is a watercolor based image, as I've told you before, it's a little splotchy. Now, the cool thing about diamond painting is that if you don't like it, you can change it. So, you know, if, if the colors being a little bit all over the place, if that seems to bother you, you can change that. Um, I'm actually thinking about reworking this and maybe even charting a second one that's more uh, more color blocky, more cartoony. Uh, but we'll see. I'm not. I'm not really. I don't consider myself an artist again, and this would be a whole new area for me to try out. But I actually do like the way that it came out. It looks it looks really true to the original, especially in areas. If you look at this area here and how it looks up here, the watercolor really comes through. But I do feel that if you didn't know what the original looked like, that you'd be like, what? <laughs> it's okay, though. I only had issues with two colors in this kit and they are not the fault of Enablers Outpost. I believe that this problem has been rectified. And if you have any issues, all you need to do is send a nice email to Elizabeth, let her know what's going on, and she'll see what she could do. Uh, one of them was easily fixable. One of them was this color, which in my kit is 371, symbol number seven. Um, these drills were clumped together. So you'd have the drills kind of sandwiched together. And there are easy ways to get these drills to unstick to each other. You can uh, squish them between two diamond trays. You could put them in a pill bottle with a nickel. Uh, or a dime or whatever, you can use a um, spice grinder, uh, a diamond painting drill dr grinder to get them loose. All of those methods will work in this situation. And I was able to work around the ones that were clumped and get enough of them down here. You could see they're in this area um, that I didn't have to do it to all of them. And I have plenty left over. And that is the theme of these diamonds actually is that there are plenty of diamonds left over after working on this kit. I used Harbor Freight containers and I used cat -eared containers to, oh, I keep forgetting about this sticker. Okay, sorry, I keep forgetting to take off that sticker. So I used cat -eared containers. Uh, these are the storage containers with a drill tray basically inside of them. I just made a video about them not long ago. Uh, and they are really nice to work with. I enjoyed especially the larger trays um, because you just don't have to uh, pour the drills into another tray and then pour them back into the storage. It's right there. Made it, made it a lot faster, uh, but I do enjoy Harbor Freight. They are a low cost alternative for those of you in the States. They don't sell worldwide. So unfortunately this is a US only kind of thing. But I had no issues with diamonds. I had plenty of diamonds left over. Uh, there, I did not run out of any diamonds. And I know that Elizabeth is really good about if, if that were to happen, that she would send you the drills as soon as possible from the manufacturer. Um, so the only other thing like uh, that I had issue with was my own placement of the diamonds. So in some areas I got lazy and I was multi-placing, but I didn't take very good care. And so in some areas you can see behind the diamond, you can see the, uh, if it'll, can you see it from there? Um, you can see a little bit of the symbol left over. I honestly cannot see that from a viewing distance. From here, I cannot tell. So I'm only, I'm only what, uh, two and a half, three feet away from the painting. 
The typical viewing distance that I recommend is six foot from a diamond painting, no matter what size it is really. I mean, the bigger the painting, the further back you want to be from it, but I cannot see any of those, uh, those missteps that I made when placing diamonds. And if I really wanted to, I could go back and fix those. It's not a problem. I did also try a little experiment in this part of the toadstool. And when I'm editing, I'll try to zoom in on it so that you can see. Can you tell which was diamond uh, multi-placed and which was single placed? I did single place a lot of the diamonds in that area because I wanted to make sure that they were covering the complete symbol. And then again, I am a person who uses diamond painting as art therapy. And for me, whizzing through a section feels really good. <laughs> it increases my serotonin and it makes me feel really, really nice. So I don't mind that you can tell that I've multi-placed in that area. I don't mind and it's going on my wall, so I don't mind. Again, uh, if it bothers you, single place. <laughs> That's all I can say. For some of us, the finish is the, the goal. And for some of us, just doing the diamond painting is the goal. And I'm of the latter group. And I think that both sides are valid. But I don't want to take away from the fact that some of us just really like to diamond paint for the sake of diamond painting. And then when we're finished, we put it in a portfolio. We don't bother putting it on the wall all the time. It's totally fine. Um, so what I mean to say is I hope that you enjoy diamond painting and if you do purchase this one, it is available. It's made to order on their website. So once you click the buy button, that order gets sent to the manufacturer and it gets made at that time. So it does take a couple weeks for it to be made and sent to you. But I hope that there are some people out there who maybe you didn't know that I was the artist of this painting, but I am and I really appreciate if you have a look at it, if you want to do it, I do have a hashtag you could use if you want to tag me on Instagram. It's hashtag EO Dreamworld. Enablers Outpost Dreamworld is what it stands for. And that way I can see your finishes too, because I love seeing what you all are working on. Please make sure you tag me, Rachel Ray Official, on Instagram. Thank you all so much for watching this little video. I hope that it helps you make an informed decision if you want to make a purchase. Uh, thank you to Elizabeth from Enablers Outpost for the opportunity to, uh, to make a diamond painting of my own artwork. <laughs> it's so cool. Thank you so much. I can't wait to finish this and put it up on my wall so that everybody can enjoy it and I can look at it and go, eee, I did that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. I will see you all very soon in my next video. Take care and stay safe and happy diamond painting. Bye.